Hey everybody, and welcome to another Let's Play video. Today we are doing the War of the Pacific, a game produced by the History Channel. Now, as always, please let me know if you want to see any other specific video game on this channel in this Let's Play format. And as always, please don't forget to go to my long play channel, which is called The Game Archivist. You can find a whole library of long plays made by me. And it would really, really help me out if you would subscribe to that channel. If you like the content that you see, it helps me out immensely. So you can find the link to that channel in the description down below of the Game Archivist. So please head on over there and subscribe if you like what you see. Now, this game is pretty rare. I really wonder if many of you have played it. It's pretty janky, but also has its charm. Anyway, without further ado, enjoy. 1941, the Axis war machine was rolling across the globe. German and Italian forces invaded nation after nation in Europe, while the Japanese began amassing an impregnable fortress of islands surrounding their homeland. On September 27, 1940, Germany, Japan, and Italy signed the Tripartite Pact, officially making them the Axis powers. America had not yet decided to enter the war, believing it to be a conflict among European and Asian nations that did not require their intervention. However, on December 7, 1941, the United States found out that Japan would not be satisfied to leave them alone. Without advance warning, a fleet of Japanese air and naval forces attacked the American port of Pearl Harbor in Hawaii, causing substantial losses for the American Navy, including the battleships Arizona, Oklahoma, and Utah, as well as thousands of American lives. The outrage of the sneak attack was the last straw that pulled the United States into World War II. But the Japanese weren't done yet. Japan set its sights on a tiny atoll that served as an American airbase vital to travel and refueling within the Pacific. Hours after the destruction of Pearl Harbor, the attack began on Wake Island, a small outpost of Marines were the only available defenders. Tell this the last attack has damaged our radio station. It can't be repaired, but you have to go digging through the supply crates in the trenches. Get to it. All right, people, here we are, Battle for the Pacific. Who of you have actually played this game? It's a bit, you know, budget, B title, and jank, but it has its charm, I think. I actually really like the ragdolls of the enemies when they die. Oh. And the explosions are pretty nice. Alright, we got some fellow Americans. What's the situation? We got Japanese everywhere. All right, return to the radio station. Let's head back. Oh. Let's quickly get some, some cover. What I think is pretty cool about this game is we will be doing um, the Battle of Iwo Jima amongst others. That we haven't really done in any other video games or AAA titles, for that matter. What are you, electrician? Nice work. This is Bravo Charlie A49 calling Great Eagle. Do you copy? This is Bravo Charlie A49 calling Great Eagle. Do you copy? Boys, it's starting. The Japanese are inbound. Follow me. <laughs> I mean, you can see it with everything that. You know, they lack budget and maybe also experience, but hey. The problem nowadays is that video games are so expensive to make. You need such a big team that we only have the few AAA titles. And again, it was like, well, what kind of World War II should we have? Oh, it's Call of Duty Vanguard, which I think is a really disappointing game. And there's not much choice, you know. Sure, this game isn't very good, but I don't think they uh, they had this on sale for like 60 bucks. I think it was a budget title from the beginning. And, uh, you know, it's nothing special, but it's also not the worst thing out there. Okay, let's follow. Japanese 
the officer here. Uh oh. Nice kill. See, the friendly AI is actually able to take out the enemies as well. Oh, he got hit. <laughs> I love how slowly, <laughs> how carefully they get into the trench. It's really polite of them. I'll try and use some grenades as well. Those ragdoll physics are also hilarious. Oh, what we got here? for it apparently Fire! now I don't think there's any like crosshair option here or zoom in function that's fine see this is like a reverse D-Day very cool oh look at that see it is very, pretty spectacular I don't know I think these janky you know type games are kind of charming and I I wish they were still being made today I really feel like the Xbox 360 era was the final generation where that happened I mean, I can tell you, I've played shooters with way worse gunplay than this. Oh. What's happening here, brothers? This guy has a dent in his helmet. I can take some Japanese weapons too if I need to. I still have some ammo for this though. Oh. <laughs> I just. Man, I love the ragdolls here. They just go flat like a bag of potatoes. And again, I'm surprised for how epic it feels. There's a lot of explosions, a lot of teammates. Okay, let's actually uh, use a grenade here. Oh, a little too far. There you go. The first one, I didn't actually want to hit him. <laughs> uh, so good. Where are we going, sir? We got another one of those sections. on this thing. Got it. Let's 
do some M1 Garant action. Alright, where to, sir? Again, this can be a little bit buggy. Oh. There. Ugh, it hit the thing. Well, still took him out. That was a good grenade. That radius is very nice. Oh no, they took most of these guys out here. There's one soldier. Oh no, two soldiers still doing their duty. Final grenade. There you go. Beautiful. Uh oh. Ooh. Thank you for waiting. Let's switch to Japanese weapon. You actually have more bullets for this thing. I think this is one of the few games where this weapon is better than the Thompson. Like, look how much damage I'm doing here. Just slaughtering them. Uh, where are we heading? Oh, look at that. Take him out. Bring everything you got, Japanese. I'm ready. I'm already on it, boss. I was a little bit delayed on that order. Oh, I actually think I got it. Any more? The trenches are full oh. of them. Sherman, take everybody near the beach. It's probably swarming with them. Dominski. You too! Move! On it, sir. All right, where to now? Take him out, sir. There you go. <laughs> I don't even need to play. Here we go. Any more? backtracking in this first level, but it's Incoming. not that bad. Incoming. I do like trench warfare. Whew. That was the last of them. They're retreating. They're retreating. Good work. We did it. We did it. The string of Japanese victories in the Pacific continued with seemingly no end in sight. While American Marines held Wake Island temporarily, it eventually was invaded, forcing surrender. 
Soon after, Luzon, the largest island in the Philippines, long occupied by American forces, was attacked by Japan. General Douglas MacArthur realized that it was a lost cause and retreated to the Bataan Peninsula for a last stand. So here we are. I think this is Guadalcanal. This has been done in other games. Our mission is to get to Piathong Village and oversee the last evacuation transport. We're hoping it's going to be quick and easy. Rescuing some damsels in distress, eh? So you wouldn't know what to do with one anyway. Both of you, can it? This is serious. This entire island is being overrun by a massive Japanese invasion force. There are thousands of soldiers landing on the northern part of the island, along with heavy sea, air, and ground fire support. Everyone on the island is... Uh-oh. Damn! Take them out! Quick! Here they come. I can tell you that the Japanese that they are speaking is correct. Uh, again, for those who don't know, I have lived in Japan for eight years, so I speak it too. I know that there's some issues where historical things, they don't get wrong, despite this being produced by the History Channel. They shouldn't be here. We gotta move. Damn it. Move, move. Come on, Follow we gotta me. go. They're here, left side. Alright, here we go. More Japanese to kill. What I actually also love, it's a weird detail, but I love how colorful and vibrant this game feels. Plane somewhere. Might be a spy plane. Me and don't get lost. Little scout. Oh Jesus. Oh God. There we go. Whew. It's a nasty ambush. Don't get lost. Follow me. Make radio contact. There are too many Japanese in the area, and I won't walk into a trap. Find a place to set up the radio. All right, gotta go back, huh? Gotta find a higher place. Damn. We're too deep in the jungle. This isn't gonna work here. All right, let's find an open spot. No, it's still too deep. Wait, wait, this is it. I can get a clear signal from here. Keep him off my back until I make contact, will ya? Roger that. I love how he's also shooting you, despite that he has to man the radio. It's a very generous teammate. There we go. Alright. Good. Let's report to Sarge. Sir, contact has been established. The village is still under American control and preparations for the convoy are in progress. They're waiting for us to escort them. Let's head for the village. On the double. Uh-oh. Oh, they got a uh, turret set up there. Ugh, it's gonna be difficult to hit. Oh. Don't get lost. Follow me. 
There we go. Finally got him. Oh, not following orders. I'm too far from my squad. Over here, boys. No one helped me take him out, so I was a little bit on my own here. Hold your position, men. I know how those bastards fight, and I bet they've already put mines me. on the trail. Check it out, and make sure you defuse them. Get behind me! All right. Ooh. All right. Cover my back, boys. I'm defusing. <laughs> Very quickly, apparently. There we go. And you guys did a good job uncovering me. Look at that. They killed multiple enemies. You will follow me, and this is no cover. Oh Jesus! Hold on, guys. There's no sprint button in this game. Grenade! <laughs> and then suddenly the music stops abruptly. Yeah, this game is jank in so many levels, but you know what's the shocking thing is? I'd rather play this than Call of Duty Vanguard. <laughs> <laughs> Even though Vanguard objectively is probably better with like better controls, Sir, thank goodness you production value, etc. We just need a few more minutes to load the trucks, and then we can leave this place before the Japanese have us totally overrun. Good to hear it. They need more time to load the trucks, so we give them more time. The enemy could be here at any moment, so take your there. defensive position. I see them. We let no one Move through. Them. Uh oh, counter charge. Oh my god, yes! That whole grenade throw <laughs> signifies why I prefer this over Vanguard. And it's not even that I hate Call of Duty that much. I mean, I'm looking forward to Modern Warfare 2 next year. It's just Vanguard was so soulless. Good work, Private. You saved the lives of many men today. Let's follow these convoys out and leave this island before it's totally overrun. Like, I don't think Upon this... Upon being driven out of the Philippines, General MacArthur remarked, I shall return. And he did, years later, but not before engaging in an island-hopping campaign that turned the tide of the war in the Pacific. By invading islands one by one all across the Pacific Ocean, American forces would weaken Japanese naval power and reduce the territory that they controlled on the water. The first invasion was on Guadalcanal, an island in the Solomons, where the Japanese were constructing an airfield. It had to be captured at all costs. If Guadalcanal was taken, the entire Pacific War could swing into the Americans' favor. Like, I think this game actually is not soulless. It just lacks experience and budget. Listen carefully. I don't want to have to repeat myself twice. Our goal is Henderson Field, the only large airfield in this area. As you know, the Japanese are here, and they're prepared for us. It will not be an easy task, but... When has it ever been an easy task, Sarge? We're at war, and this jungle is full of people who would like nothing more than to ban at you in the gut. Of course it won't be easy, soldier. Understood? Enemy contact! Oh, we got another D-Day situation here. Get off the beach. That's Japanese artillery! We must... Oh, Jesus, okay. There we go. Let's head into the jungle. I oh, got a mortar team set up here. Follow me. Cover me. I 
Oh, they're behind us? Sneaky bastards. Surprise. Oh, oh that, that's a perfect grenade opportunity as well. I have, a, I have nine grenades as well. Next time I'll try and uh, make him fly. Another one. Oh, beautiful. Don't get lost. Follow me. Oh, looks like we're heading up this cliff. Oh, they didn't even get him. Destroy the enemy artillery. Got it. Take these charges. the cannons. We can't leave them intact or they'll tear our boys to shreds. Do it before they send reinforcements. In a way, this game is more like Call of Duty like it used to be. Like like Call of Duty 1 and 2. You know, no, like, big storyline or whatever, just the battles, you know, you and your squad. I like it. It's simple, but effective. The airfield is close. We gotta hurry. Let's do it. Move your ass. Go. Yeah, they are running faster than I am. Uh oh, that's not good. I'm gonna kill you. Get behind me. Cover me. Oh, more enemies. Damn you! Damn you! Wonder how it looks if a grenade hits the water. Oh, <laughs> there's of course a no specific animation. You still see like the sand and dirt being blown up. Like, tell me, what is the last really cool World War II game with, like, a single-player campaign? When was that? What game was that? Let me know. Man, those planes keep flying over us. I'm scared that they're gonna bomb us. You will follow me, and this is an order. Stay behind me. Follow my lead. <laughs> yeah, the constant chattering by like the captain is also quite annoying. Me. Oh, it's a tower. We're close. There it is. Damn, they've got it locked down tight. Clear it. Take no prisoners. Take no prisoners. Got it. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, Jesus. Got one more. So we'll find a one. Ah, oh, I did some damage there. Very nice. Okay, let's use the boxes for cover. I can already see him. Oh, I have only two bullets for this. Oh, I see an AA gun. We're gonna use that 
on their own units. Good kill, good kill. Alright, bring it. Okay, that was a lot of damage. Uh oh. Oh! Hey, take care of those guys, please. Okay, mission objective complete. Okay, well, they're dead. I cannot believe that this jank game has better and more effective friendly AI than some games that are coming out today. No enemy soldiers in sight. What now? Secure the area and call for reinforcements. They'll be back. Who died and made you CEO? The CEO did die. And that's why you're gonna get out there and secure the area. They're in the jungle! Here they come! Uh oh, immediately going through to the next one. Counterattack! Hold position. Got it. Don't get lost. Follow me. Uh oh. Somebody kill him. There we go. Any more? Yeah, here comes another wave. Very epic music for not a whole lot happening. Ah, oh, that group would be great to take down with the Thompson, but they're just too far. Your life ends here. Also, thanks for the help, guys. Just a moment ago, I praised your AI, and now you're not doing anything. Okay. Oh my god, more? I'm gonna kill you. I'm uh, slowly running out of ammo here. We'll be surrounded. All right, we'll retreat to the artillery position. We can hold out there. Okay, this artillery we blew up earlier. Ooh. Why not? So this is one of those levels that's kind of backtracking. You know, we already did this. Bit of a shame, but it's fine. Oh. Oh, that sneaky bastard. Find us again? What's the deal? Oh, yeah. I love this weapon. Stay behind me. They're everywhere. Oh, Take another one. Man, this just destroys them. I love it. Don't get lost. Follow me. Enemy contact. It's an ambush. From the back or what? Okay, 
Okay, continue. I don't have that much ammo for this thing anymore. Ah, see, I have 200 rounds for the uh, Thompson. Move, damn it! Move! Cover me! Cover me! All right, we must now be getting close to the artillery position. Wait for me, guys. Cannot run as fast as you can. Yeah, this is that place. Move, move. Three o'clock. Enemy approaching. <laughs> Hold the position. Hold the position. Don't let them through. It just it doesn't get old seeing them fly everywhere with the grenades. Oh, yes. Another one. Run! Yep, ten no bonsai. There you go. Reinforcements! Hold on, man! We'll make it through this! Oh, we got friendlies incoming. Good to see you boys. Where is your commanding officer? Dead, sir. I've taken command of the squad. We had seized the field, but the enemy came with fresh reinforcements and forced us back to this position. Good job, Private. Smith, we can't afford to lose more men, but we've got to take that airfield back. Stay behind me. We have changing position. All right, return to the airfield. So, yeah, this is a weird mission where you go first to the area you've already been to, and then you Stay return to the area me. you've also been to. I mean, the game isn't very long. I think it's like 90 minutes or something. If this was like a game that was like five hours, it would be a lot more of a drag. But the fact that it's so short is what's like, eh, it's okay. Obviously not really worth $60. But, you know, if you can pick this up for $5, that's great. I saw this for the first time in a GameStop in New York. I'm, of course, from Europe, so I've never seen this game before when it came out. Which is why I wonder how many uh, of my viewers have actually played this. It's a pretty rare game. Don't get lost. Follow me. Come with me. Enemy contact. Kill uh oh, oh, big group. You can still see all the weapons that the enemies dropped that I killed. All right, well, we're back at the airfield. Japanese in sight. We got one grenade. Oh, that sent him flying. The dust was in the way, though. All right, what's the plan here? Yes, sir. But I need someone to keep the heat off while I radio out. Okay. You and you. You go with him. Move. I'll protect you. Don't worry. Oh, my goodness. This is Bravo Charlie Henderson. Request an airstrike immediately. Our coordinates are wanted. I repeat. Request an airstrike at my coordinates. Okay, did that work? Uh, 
Oh, here they come. Blow them all to kingdom come. With Guadalcanal captured, American forces had begun to turn the tide in the Pacific. But there was a long ways yet to go. Leyte Island would be the first stop in General MacArthur's return to the Philippines. By securing this island, he would have a foot in the door to invade the largest island, Luzon, where he had previously made a last stand on the Bataan Peninsula. By recapturing the Philippines, American troops would be able to cut supply and communication lines as well. All right, now we got a proper D-Day mission. Clear the ramp. 30 seconds. Move fast and use the motor holes for cover. Keep the sand out of your weapons. Go, go. Wow, even some uh, same private Ryan quotes. Here we go. Get to cover. There's a lot of dead bodies here. Oh my goodness. All right, let's follow them around uh, along this ridge. Ah, oh, people even died on the barbed wire. Oh my god, look at him fly. Again, this is pretty epic for such a jank game, right? That's really cool. Whoa. My thoughts exactly, sir. There we go. All right. Move, move, move. Get in. Now we need to liberate go. these trenches. Clear those trenches. Still need to follow the the higher ranking unit, though. Clear the pillboxes. Toss a grenade in there. Hold on. This guy is speaking my language with throwing grenades in there. There you go. Wow, that guy survived that. Point blank range. Okay, well, he took care of those. Americans. Oh, he's going uh, that way, sir. Don't go too far. I might feel the mission. Kill him. Ah, I see you handled this, sir. Good job. Okay. Okay, that should do it. Oh my god, so many explosions. The screen is shaking non-stop. Oh. Good kill, good kill. Grenade. Yeah. Oh, well, that actually also hit me. Great. Get behind me. Oh, 
Good thing friendly fire isn't a thing in this game. He's like trying to get in front of me. Oh, that's a good grenade. Oh dear. Any more? Oh, another one with those weapons. I don't have a lot of ammo for the Thompson, so I might as well stop the Banzai charge. Uh oh. Cover me. Okay, we got a lot of uh, friendly AI here. Oh. Oh, and I'm out of ammo. Great. Oh my god, that guy ate shit. Wow, there's a lot of enemies coming here. Oh, I just need to kill that guy. There we go. That could have probably saved us some time. Ah, you did good, real good. Oh, I figured you boys would be able to do this. Now will someone call the damn medic? Men. At the end of this valley is the enemy supply base. It is heavily guarded, but we have the element of surprise on our sides. We go in, blow up our targets, and get the hell out of there. Understood? Yes, yes, sir! Good. Watch out. Keep your head low and don't waste ammo. This area is swarming with enemy soldiers, so be careful. Let's go! Go, go, go. Right behind you, sir. Enemy soldiers on the right <clears throat> side! So yeah, you can actually see now with the jankiness that this level is very much like the uh, the second and third level. Uh oh, that's a lot of planes, sir. And the previous level was, of course, very much like the first level with the trenches. So there's not a whole lot of variety. There's honestly more variety in the um, Civil War games that they made. Which, uh, again, if you guys want to see that too, let me know in the comments down below. There are uh, two Civil War games, and uh, one of them is actually pretty good. Oh, wow. They got him very well. I didn't even see him. All enemy patrols must be eliminated. Go! Okay, this will probably happen quite a bit. Where we get ambushed by a group and we need to kill them before advancing. I'm almost out of ammo. Need myself a Japanese weapon.
What you got? Not the best weapon. Actually, sucks. So I'm dropping this weapon somewhere. There we go. A lot more ammo for this. Quick, kill the guards before they call for reinforcements. Behind us? Or what? Oh, that's a ah, wait, I do have grenades. Oh, beautiful. Go, go, go. Any more stragglers? There we go. This is no way. This is a great spot for an enemy ambush. We are near the base, so prepare for heavy resistance. We're getting in and setting those charges. Right. Look at that. We were actually the ones ambushing them. I got a turret set up there. Oh, beautiful. Wow. What a throw. Here it is. Oh, there's a lot of open space here. They're too far for me to effectively throw grenades. Now I can try. Ugh. Thought they were in the house, but they're in the tower. Uh oh. I can punch you too, bitch. Another one in the tower. There we go. Alright, what we do? Sabotage enemy supply. Got it. I was out of range for that audio to work. Also, apparently we lost all our teammates in that battle. Oh, nope. We got Private Bob over here. Two years after his retreat from Bataan, General MacArthur waded onto the beach of Leyte, declaring, People of the Philippines, I have returned. By the grace of Almighty God, our forces stand again on Philippine soil.
With Leyte captured, American troops would now face surmountable odds in the recapture of Luzon, home to the Philippine capital city of Manila. Before Manila could be liberated, however, the rest of the Japanese-occupied island had to be traversed. General MacArthur made elaborate attempts to distract Japanese forces in the south with bombing raids and reconnaissance flights before landing in Lingayen Bay in the north. However, even with the element of surprise, the road to Manila would not be an easy one. Our objectives have changed. We've got new rendezvous coordinates. We will meet another squad operating in this area, then we march on Manila. Are we sure this area is secure? Sniper! Nope, it's not secure. This is also not the weapon I want to have when I'm dealing with snipers. That's one. Oh, we got a lot of planes. Those are enemy planes, too. I'm trying to pinpoint them. I'll throw a grenade. There he is. Alright. Sniper's been dealt with. Whoa. He came marching in. See, this is cool. This is still the same jungle, but at least now with the weather, the different lighting, it feels different. Oh, eh? and the music abruptly stops again. Oh my god, look how many planes they're bringing. Yeah, actually, now that we've dealt with snipers, I can switch to... Thompson again. Me, you coward. It's an ambush. Oh, a beautiful grenade. Actually got them all. We did it! We did it! Good kill. Come with me! Move! Did we actually lose one guy? It's a bad reload. All right, whew, a lot of enemies there. Clear the area. Ah! Put the charges on the artillery cannons. We can't have them attacking our reinforcements. Ugh, a lot of enemies. Oh, that grenade did not do what I wanted it to do. Good, they're clearing it. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Great. I'm with you, dude. Oh. Is there someone in that tower? There is. Stay behind me. Oh, look at this. We got actually a tank. It's broken, though, but hey. It's cool to see that model in this game as well. This game is actually... I didn't... I forgot about that. This is published by Activision. Can you believe that? Like I said, nowadays, they just do Call of Duty. Um, Come on, we gotta go. back in the day, you know, Activision and EA actually took chances. And though this, of course, was not a real, very good game, still, they weren't only thinking about monetization and that sort of stuff. You know, they took chances. 
You know, not all chances work, but still, whoa, what the what was happening there? This uh, Japanese guy needs some help. Stop with the explosions. For a moment, these were friendly because no one was shooting. Another tank. Oh, look at that, friendlies. Hey, I see them. They made it. Man, is it good to see some American faces around here? Iwo Jima. This name would send chills down the spines of all who fought there. It was a lifeless volcanic rock bristling with entrenched Japanese defenses. If U.S. forces could successfully capture the island, B-29 bombers could be launched only a few hundred miles away from the Japanese mainland. After days of intense shelling from American battleships, troops would come ashore to face snipers, pillboxes, and soldiers determined to hold the island at all costs. It would be a hellish fight. But if taken, it could mean the beginning of the end for the war in the Pacific. All right, Iwo Jima. Again, not very represented in games. Prepare yourself. This is not going to be pretty, but follow my orders and stay behind me. And you just might be going home to see your family. Please, I'm gonna die. There actually is a game called Battle Shut for Iwo Jima, which sucks. It's Prepare terrible. Like, if you think this is bad, mm -mm. Oh, God, they both died. Oh, Lord. Oh, look at that, we got a bar. Which, of course, we're now at the end of the war. Ish. So... Weapons-wise, we actually, uh, are more modern than the previous battles. Oh, there they are. I need to find, uh, have a grenade in there. Okay, that did that. Let's go, everybody. Come on. Get in there, get in there. It's another trench warfare maps. I do like these, but they they do look similar to one another. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Oh Jesus. Oh, I like the BAR. Uh-oh. Get reload. You take care of him, sir. Right, left it is. Oh my god, the screen is shaking so much. Oh my god, what is happening to the screen? Oh, that's a grenade right there. Oh, they ran right in it. Why that guy didn't die, I don't know. I'm also going to be running out of ammo for this thing very quickly. We secured the beachhead. At least the frontal trenches. Good kill, sir. Where to now? See, 210 rounds. That's what you want. Okay. Watch out. Whoa. Them quick. We don't need the distraction. Where are the snipers?
Oh, there they are. Oh, all lined up so that I can shoot them very easily. It's very nice of them. Still got three grenades. Oh, looks like this is a lot of open space. Oh, perfect for a grenade. Hmm, only send one flying. A bit of an anti-climax. Man, this guy is killing them. Left and right. Yep, don't have to do a whole lot. The screen is starting to shake again wildly. Ooh, oh my god, this guy is Rambo. It's like Inglorious Bastards than the Pacific version. Ooh, those were Japanese soldiers. Sir, I found the artillery. They're pounding the hell out of the beach. Yeah, we noticed. Not for long. Johnson, take these men and silence those guns! Oh. Ugh. Threw it against the teammate. I wonder what other setting would be very cool for one of these History Channel games. Um, because, you know, the Pacific... World War II, of course, has been done to death, but the Pacific, not as much as Europe. Um, I was thinking of World War I. You know, the Civil War, American Civil War was very cool, this would be cool. Revolutionary War would be very interesting. Prussian War would be interesting. Vietnam. There are not that many We're Vietnam games. The to the cave system. Let's trap them there. All right. Watch out for machine guns. They've got a firing squad out there. Take them out. I got a lot of enemies. Oh, they're all coming out of the caves there. Let's push forward. More. <gasps> oh, they all, at least all lined up very well for me. I apparently didn't kill a whole lot. There we go. Any more? No. Yeah, we did it! Yeah! <laughs> He's very happy. American forces created a beachhead on Iwo Jima, but that was only the start. Ahead lay one of the most fearsome aspects of the Japanese defenses. Over 40 miles of tunnels that ran under the island. Entire stockhouses, medical facilities, and command centers were hidden underground and heavily defended. If the Americans were to take the island, they would have to clear out these caves. Forty miles, dude. Listen up. These Let's... caves are the key to Iwo Jima. They've got hundreds of tunnels under the island. Empty them out and destroy the infrastructure they've got down there. Let's go. That is insane. If you want to go through all of them, it's like more than 10 hours to clear. 
This is actually very cool that like you get like a cave battle in here. Normally, I don't really like cave levels that much. You see those wires? Find a good spot to cut them. Quick! All right. But since, you know, most of the levels have been trenches or jungle here, it's a welcome, uh, you know, variation. Looks like we're gonna cut here. There we go. All right, lead the way back. All right, we did it, sir. Where to now? That guy just die. Nope. Let's go. Clear out this hell hole. Oh, they're up there too. Okay, there we go. I'm out of ammo for this. Type hundred. Yep. They sabotage the electricity generator. We've got to fix it or we'll never find our way through. Go, search for the parts and bring them here. Be careful. They're probably hiding in the dark. Okay. Looks like I'm on my own for a bit. Find the missing generator parts. Oh my goodness! It's really bright once they uh, they fire into this cave. I imagine, though, that if you are firing a weapon uh, inside a dark cave, it's blinding for sure. Well, that grenade did wonders. Let's see if we can find that part. My mic just shifted. Ooh, some more parkouring, <laughs> platforming. Not this game's uh, biggest strength. Look at all these weapons, jeez. All right, back here. Let there be light. Oh my god, good kill. They're Again, very effective Go. teammates in this game. Surprisingly so. Oh! That might have been the best one yet. Let's 
Seize to command center. All right. Lead the way, sir. Got one more grenade for some unlucky Japanese. Oh, looks like these are those unlucky Japanese. Yep. Oh, wow. That guy went into light speed against a table. Good work, men. We did it. You did it. The caves are clear. As the fighting raged on across the island, American commanders realized that they needed to take Mount Suribachi, the only high point on the otherwise flat and desolate area. It had extraordinary strategic importance and would allow a view of the entire island, as well as a position to make mortars and snipers highly effective. But the Japanese caves wound all the way through the mountain with entrenched and well-defended positions. It was a dangerous mission, but the American flag had to be raised on the summit. Man, I would, could Enemy not be a flamethrower soldier. I need this area cleared. I'd be too scared. All right, guys, this is it. End mission. Let's seize that mountain. Bad reload time. Take him out. Us long enough. Go, go, go. I see. So we need to go from machine gun to machine gun. Come on, sir. What you guys waiting for? Oh, finally one of our planes. Oh, I'm getting too far away from the <laughs> the main guy. Oh, they're bombing the hell out of that rock. Take cover, man. Oh, beautiful again. Two machine guns left. One's over there. It's ripe for another grenade. They just ignore that Japanese soldier. You're like, eh. It's not that big a deal. Move, damn it. Move. Oh, look at our fleet. Oh, God. Cannot enjoy the scenery for too long. Actually, I also don't have a lot of ammo for this thing. Oh, they're up there. I was wondering, like, what the hell? Who's shooting me? Oh, I love this. They just keep like rolling downhill. Oh, that's glorious. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Damn you! Oh! Ugh. Bitch! Clear them all out. This is still one grenade, just in case I need it. Move, damn it. Move. Oh. That seems like a perfect group to use it on. This is the final machine gun, probably. Alright, get to the top of the mountain. This is it, boys. Final mission in the game. Let's do it. Take no prisoners. Kill everybody! Get 
They're doing actually a pretty crappy job of fighting the enemies that are on the mountains or on the rocks. Like you're kind of expected to take those out yourself. Uh oh, I'm out of ammo for both things. I need a dead Japanese soldier. Weapon. Yes. Don't get lost. Follow this me. is it. We've won. Victory is ours. Come with me. Move. All right, there you have it. We've beaten the game. Cover me. After weeks of some of the bloodiest fighting of the war, Iwo Jima was finally captured. The photo of six Marines raising the flag atop Mount Suribachi became one of the most iconic images in American history. Admiral Chester W. Nimitz would later say that among the men who fought on Iwo Jima, uncommon valor was a common virtue. But that virtue came at a price, with tens of thousands of dead American and Japanese soldiers across the island. Only a few months later, the atomic bombs would be dropped on Japan, resulting in the final surrender of the Japanese and the end of the war. But the soldiers who fought in the Pacific would never be forgotten for their sacrifice. So there you have it, people. Battle for the Pacific. Again, it's kind of a jank game. It's nothing special at all. Yet, you know, it has its charm, I think. Uh, you know, I prefer this over some of the really, like, I don't know, weird, soulless choices that they do with modern shooters uh, nowadays or, you know, to, to cater to the woke agenda or something. This is just simply, like, you know, presenting the, the, the war, you know, like it was or something, you know, N nothing too fancy about it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. If you want to see other games, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to please go on over to the uh, my long play channel, The Game Archivist, and subscribe to that channel. It helps me out a ton. If you do, I'll be very, very grateful. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.